show is hot. Hot, hot, hot. I can sure see how man can walk up thirst. Woo-wee! Hot. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Think nothing of it. Ain't it funny how things work out? Yeah, I just laugh myself to sleep every night. <laughs> Lots of mystery. Full of twists and turns. We just don't know, do we? We're not meant to know. Look, about my eye and all, you don't have to apologize or anything. I understand. Uh-huh. And I want you to know, I was real sorry to hear about Lucille losing that last baby. Well, thank you, Junior. I guess she was all tore up about it. God, the last time was the absolute worst. The doctor said if we didn't want to lose it, she was going to have to lay flat on her back and not get up for nothing. Well, we decided to give it one last shot, so she went to bed and I went to the drugstore to pick up her medicine. Pick up a bedpan. I left her a Kentucky Fried Chicken bucket in case she had to go while I was gone. And it must have been about 30 minutes. By the time I got back, I guess I don't have to tell you what had happened. She lost it and I didn't even know. What'd you do? Well, I called the doctor. And he told me to bring her in as soon as I could. It was a pathetic sight me dragging Lucille through that waiting room. Her screaming and crying still holding on to that dang chicken bucket. Well, Ray, <coughs> that was the most awful story I've ever heard. And to think I had it bad. Well, I was sort of sorry about hearing your business going under, too. Mm -hmm. And, Ray, have you ever thought about what it would be like if we hadn't married Lucille, you know, don't necessarily mean Lucille, you know, just another woman. Not another woman that can have children. Because, Ray, children aren't always cracked up to what they are. So, I mean, you know what I mean. You get the picture. Yeah, you mean you've been stepping out on Suzanne? <laughs> Did she tell Lucille? Yep. Does Mama know? Not yet. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, there I was in the Kmart parking lot, you know, just giving them a little test clean. And there was this woman, and she was packing up things in the back of her car, and there I was. I was on top of that machine. And I was the master of it, and I had control of it. I had control of my life. And I was a real man, <coughs> a businessman. Like daddy. Well, what happened then? Suzanne showed up. She had all these dang kids hanging off her saying, I want Pepsi, I want Pepsi. And then, you know what she want to talk about, right? She want to talk about the bills, the car payment, the house payment, her mother. And then I had a real strong desire to run her over with the machine. Well, I can understand that. But see, it got worse. All I could think about was shooting Suzanne, pushing her down the stairs, sneaking up on her with a baseball bat, and knocking her out. Anything just to shut her up. Oh. Well, what are you going to do now? Well, as the weeks went by, it just got worse and worse. So, the woman in the car parking lot, I just looked her up. And then, one day, one thing kind of led to the other, and well, you know, how much of this does Suzanne know? I told her the where, the when, and the how. But I danced around told her the who. So, what are you going to do now? I don't know. I got to get some money. Well, I'm sure you'll figure it out. But not tonight, though. Are you turning in? Yep, big day tomorrow. You should do the same. Hey, uh, why don't you bring that thing over here Sunday and, uh, Polish up the driveway. I've been meaning to get somebody to do that for me for a while now. That is, uh, if you got the time and all. Well, sure, Ray. Sunday be good. Well, not Junior. Ray? Yeah? Dave, show sure we proud of you. You too, Junior.